This is our incline sit up. Hopefully your gym has got something very similar to this or you're able to set it up somewhere. Um, this is an uh, incline bench, or a decline bench actually. I uh, use the decline bench press or sit ups or any sort of thing where you want to get your feet or lower body above your shoulders. So, nice and simple, we've got different levels to go to. Um, you can set it up depending on how advanced or beginning you are. So what we want to do is uh, set it up with a decent amount of incline. Now it's not decline because we're not benching or anything. So I'm going to be sitting up on an incline. It's our incline sit up, remember? So sit over, nice and simple. Catch our feet in. We want to hook our feet back there. And obviously just lower ourselves nice and easy. Feel our feet length. Now, and then what we're doing is just locking our hips and everything being nice and tight. And I want to sit up using my core muscles, pull myself up, trying to keep as flat an upper body as I can. I don't want to be really rolling, which that does make the abs burn a bit more, but it's not exactly um, adding any increase. If I'm holding out in nice and tension along, then I'm getting to use them in a very good brace scenario. Um, you can do lots of different variations of this, different places to put your hands, that changes where the majority of your body weight is, so making it easier and harder. Um, or we can add weight. So you can take a weight plate, a dumbbell, uh, any sort of implement, hold it generally here in your chest, and then sitting up. Adding any sorts of movements or variation with that weight as you go. So that is our incline sit up.